Hi everybody, this is Mary for Stampin' Cabin with Mary and Mary's Stamping Happenings and today is There's a Card Thursday. And on um, Tips and Techniques Tuesday we made this mask, paper mask, and today I want to show you uh, the card I made with it and how to make this card. Let's bring you up a little bit. There you go. Uh, what you're going to need is, you see, just breathe, but wear your mask. This is from the um, Share Sunshine PDF that Stamping Up is selling, and all the proceeds go to a couple organizations that um, are responding or um, is helping the world respond um, to the COVID-19 uh, um, pandemic. We don't even, as um, demonstrators, get any of our commission. It's all, everything from this. And it's 15 sheets of different sayings, different colors. Now, I don't have a color printer, so all mine are um, black and gray. But they all um, do different colors. There's um, Bermuda Bay, there's Flirty Flamingo, I think, a bunch of other colors. And there's 15 pages of different sayings that deal with uh, the pandemic. So what else we're going to need besides the share and sunshine? And I'm using the Just Breathe. Um, I am using an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Whisper White card stock. I am using, um, this is a four, by five and a quarter inch piece of Bermuda Bay. I also used um, a piece of four by uh, four and four and a quarter by five and a half, and I cut a bunch of these with the um, stitch rectangle um, framelits. And then you need to um, have some sort of um, Whisper White or neutral cardstock or some sort of cardstock to print your uh, PDF ones on. Also, then I am using I'm using a piece of um, this is three and three quarters by five inches, and this um, to make the mask. This is what I used, um, and it's a piece of two and three quarters by two and an eighth. These are from the Bird Ballad. Um, designer series paper. And then of course you're going to need um, another, to make the mask you're going to need another piece of Whisper White a scrap and um, tear and tape to make um, your own um, cardstock self-adhesive uh, pieces. Okay, then you will also need your Big Shot or some other and I, am, I used um, these two from the Stitch Rectangles um, dies. Okay, so this is fairly easy. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to, um, first of all, make your mask. I made my mask, and again, this is two and three quarters by two and an eighth, and you're going to score at a half, five eighths inch, one inch, one and one eighth inch, one and a half and one and five eighths inch. Um, please go to my um, Tips and Techniques Tuesday and um, you'll see this, um, how to make this. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach, oh, and you'll need something to attach. I'm going to use my um, snail just because it's out and I just realized I am running out. I thought I had like a hundred boxes of mini glue dots. I can't find them. My adhesive box is empty of mini glue dots. And so i am got to get an order in. I'm putting the Bermuda Bay. And then what I'm doing is I am, yeah, I was going to see which way did I do the mask. And then I'm going to use some glue dots at the on the back of the masks at each four corners. 
just mainly because it's easier to use glue dots than it is to use that snail. Could probably use tear and tape too, but as we all know, what is Mary's favorite adhesive? Yeah, one that I don't have too much of. Oh, no. And then I am just going to attach the mask. Then I'm going to take my Just Breathe and I'm going to attach it to the Tempting or the uh, Bermuda Bay. Then I'm going to take some glue or er, Stampin' Dimensionals. And there, just breathe, but wear your mask. So remember to follow me on YouTube. Everything you need um, is down below. I really would appreciate it. You help my small business by ordering your stamping up supplies for me if you enjoyed my videos. Thanks for visiting and happy stamping. Bye-bye.